Hi guys, today I want to show you a simple, super fast method of transport that you can use in the Snapshot 16W41. So after the teaser video that I've uploaded a few days ago, um, we uploaded an explanation video on Rago's channel. And today I want to show you an even simpler version of a 160 meters per second transport system. It's a little bit slower than the other versions, but it's a lot simpler to build. Um, so here we only have a piston every second space and we're traveling with a boat. So here we align the boat with those cocoa beans, then push in a piston, and then, yeah, let's just try it out. So as you can see, I'm traveling very fast. If I would open the F3 screen, yeah, it's approximately 160 blocks per second. Of course, it depends how yeah, fast your computer can handle the, the chunk loading. I had to yeah, turn down the render distance to seven chunks uh, because otherwise I just couldn't keep up. So, and that's almost 5,000 blocks traveled in half a minute. Here we go. We've already explained this in Rego's video. There's a limit in the game that you can't travel more than a chunk per game tick. Um, for the other system, the faster system, a piston uh, extends two game tick and it can actually use the two piston uh, extending stages for travel, so you only need to repeat it every 32 blocks. But if you use a boat, you can uh, only use one of those stages. Um, and in contrast to the minecart system, where we had the pistons spaced out like this, it's enough that you have um, yeah, a piston every second block, because the boat uh, is longer than a block. And then the boat uh, gets moved by the first piston partially into the second piston. But since the boat is uh, not longer than one and a half blocks, um, can only use one of those stages. That's the reason why uh, it's a little bit slower. Uh, I haven't tested it, but I think if it technically would get uh, one game tick delay by, for example, pushing an armor stand and tripwire hook, you could even make a 320 blocks per second system uh, with boats. But I haven't tested this yet. I'm quite sure that it is possible. Um, yeah, one final note the system um, is directional. So this is the north south axis. It's easier to build it there. Uh, the only thing you have to yeah, look out for, so here, those are the junk borders that are made with uh, F3G, is to have the repeater always in the new chunk. So every new chunk, we have this repeater here. And yeah, this observer gets the block update from this rail. Rails update the block below them. That's where the observer gets the update from. OK, I also made a version for the east-west axis. and uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, what you have to do here is go in that direction and then come back and power the rails in this direction. It has to do with the way the um, observers update. So here we go basically in this direction and here we go up again and then back into this direction to power the observers. And here's some delay and also every 16 blocks we have a repeat in between. So I would say Let's also try this one out. It's a bit shorter, just 3,000 blocks. But it's still quite fast. And you might have noticed this, that you don't hear anything. We're not traveling faster than the speed of sound, but I think the yeah, piston noises just glitch out. OK, here we are. That was yeah, distance of 3,000 blocks. I've also made this player elevator here. There's also a limit in a game that you can only travel a chunk per game tick vertically. Um, but since the player is taller than one and a half blocks, you can use the two piston stages and you only need resin torch every 32 blocks. So you can travel at 320 blocks per second. If you don't have any lag, then you should go from bedrock to sky limit in about a second. And so let's check it out. So that's definitely quite fast. It takes a lot longer to fall down, but you could also make a downwards version. As always, moving the player with pistons isn't 100% reliable, so similar to, for example, slime block elevators or all translocators. If you want a 100% reliable elevator, you would need to use something as tracked server side, for example, minecarts, boats or horses. But it's yeah, it mostly takes more effort to build those versions. 
Also, don't start building those elevators and conveyors yet, because it's probably not intended that you can travel this fast with pistons. In the past, fast transport systems have always been fixed, so it's probably only going to work in this snapshot. Um, the next best alternative for fast travel is using Ultimate Redstone's Piston Bolts, where you push a minecart from one curved radius to the next every game tick. They've been in the game for a few years now, always worked, but they're probably also not intended by the developers. So they also might get fixed at some point, who knows. Um, of course, there's still uh, intended ways of travel in the game, so you can climb ladders, or if you use a carrot on a stick, you can ride a pig. Awesome. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.